just a quick video of a couple of uh, <clears throat> blizzard statues in Frostmoor. This is Illidan. He's the newest one. I think he has an addition size of uh, 5,000, which is pretty high, but you know, he came in at a pretty affordable price point. Um, 350. I used a promotional code, got it down to 260 bucks, so it's worth every dollar. <clears throat> it's made out of polystone. Um, actually, excuse me, not polystone. Those are my other sideshow statues. Uh, it's made out of uh, a resin. Um, you can see, you know, it's, my, it's a one fifth scale, but like right here, these things move. I'm not sure if that's resin or if it's a type of mixed media. Um, not too sure. He's got his war glaives, which are pretty light. Um, they're made out of a different type of plastic. His hands were come down, come off. They're pretty light, as I said, to, you know, not overstress the magnet on it. Let's see, there he is. He's got some uh, green paint. It looks black, but it's definitely, you know, a mix. It's got some uh, green reflection in there. It's his face and his horns. A lot of people got Illidan broken either his sash right here was broken or his hair or one of his horns which luckily I was not victim to that fate which is good his wings are good as I said one fifth scale he would not fit in a best of case not that I have best of cases but I do want to figure out another way to display him um, once I get you know couple more statues I'll invest in some sort of uh, display right here we have the BlizzCon 2015 print it's uh, supposedly one out of 1,000 we've got the addition size right there each one is individually numbered I did buy two I resold one and they were different numbers and they do look hand written on there with a marker so this one's 407 Pretty cool. Came like this, came framed. Um, nice sturdy canvas. It has a certificate of authenticity on the back. <clears throat> now here we have Gromash Hellscream. Grom. He's uh, one fifth scale as well to go with the other Blizzard line statues. Standing on uh, Manoroth's head. I do like this one more than Illidan in this sense. It's hard to put into words, to be honest. I just love the base. Um, it seems like there's more detail, like with the blood on his knee and everything. It's very, very well done. Get the green blood on the axe. It does look, like look at his lip right there, Manroth's lip. It looks wet paint app is very well done the horn now people had issues with him coming broken as well and his teeth his tooth that tooth left tooth excuse me right tooth was broken when I got him I had to repair that myself but very well done the skin detail is top-notch gloves are great everything on him is great I love this statue. <clears throat> I just need an Arthas. I'm, I'm going to pass on Deathwing. He's just not one of those staple World of Warcraft or Warcraft universe characters to me. And here is Brosmore. This is the Epic Weapons Brosmore. You can see it says Epic Weapons right there. I've got this in a knockoff base. Um, the sword's authentic, but the base is not. This is uh, also one of my favorite pieces. I have the RFID authenticator and everything. It's registered to me. It works. It's good stuff. You can see here. There. There's the sword. Very heavy. There. 
Here's the full picture. Sorry for the reflection in the light. I don't have very good lighting in this room. This is how they're displayed for now. I am looking for an Arthas piece um, by Sideshow. Uh, it tends to be a lot harder to find, and uh, if it's not hard to find, it's very expensive on average, anywhere from 15 to I've seen, I mean, I, don't, I doubt anyone pays this price, but $3,000 on resale sites like eBay and forums. But if I can pick one up for, you know, 1200 bucks, that would make me happy. So yeah, that's my uh, higher-end Blizzard stuff. I mean, over here I've got, you know, the Collector's Edition, some other BlizzCon mementos, signed posters, that kind of thing. But I'll make a separate video on those. So yeah, thanks for watching guys and have a good day.